Now it's time to color the sunflower. I've already used so many yellow, orange, brown, orange colors that for the sunflower I need something really bright because I want it to be focal point of the whole page. I think that Prismacolor pencils will work better. So I have color combo of uh, sunburst yellow. I will put it near the tip of the leaves and then orange for the central part of the petal and maybe punking a little bit for shading. I deliberately decided to make petals more in orange than yellow color to make the sunflower to uh, stand better against all yellow colors which I already put for the dress. Of course, on the dress I intend to use later white paint to get rid of the black lines, so dress will look lighter, but still it will have yellow undertone and that's why for the sunflower, for the petals, I want to intense much more, uh, I want to use much more intense yellow colors. I haven't decided yet about her necklace and decoration on the dress. Maybe I will make them also with the similar yellow colors or maybe I will use for them green colors the same as I intend to use for the leaves. We will see when the sunflower is finished. Then I will decide about remaining elements of her dress. That's orange. and pumpkin orange. back to uh, sunburst yellow For the central part I can use chocolate. And maybe even 90% a warm grey. Maybe let's use the same color combo here on, on her bracelet and for the rest 
Off was a dress. <laughs> well. Okay, let's use it here. I put a small amount of sunburst yellow. This around um, gemstones. And together with pumpkin orange. I will surround them with a um, color combo of bronze and um, yellow ochre, mostly bronze. It's not bronze, it's like old gold color. Later I will add on the gemstones tiny highlights with marker. Well now let's do leaves. I have a lime peel and marine green. That was lime peel. Now time for marine green. A little bit along the edge. In the middle. I try to select more yellow-green colors from the palette of Prismacolor greens. I think that in such a way, when they are more olive yellow greens, they match better the rest of the colors which I already used here. I don't know, on my first page, which I did here with the Nemesis Greek Goddess, I preferred more how my polychromos worked on this paper. But for today's page, Prisma colors cover paper and blend on this paper a little bit better. Maybe it depends from the color palette I use, I don't know. Well, I don't think that I want to do a bracelet in the same colors. Maybe for the bracelet I again will use yellow ochre plus bronze. I 
I try to leave tiny white uncolored areas a highlight around it I put yellow ochre and the same shading between the beads using bronze. And maybe I will use it also for the necklace. I'm not sure that I want green here. Maybe, but still yellow and bronze. I think that it will be better. Maybe touch of sunburst yellow. Well, it's not bad. Later on I will try to outline my petals of the sunflower with warm yellow or light orange Posca. But now I need to color her skin and her face of course. I already discovered that when I color skin on the portraits on the bed paper, it's better to combine together uh, polychromos and prisma colors. Usually I prefer to put first a layer with polychromos. If I do fair skin, I usually use light flesh, it's um, 132, and then I start to add shading and I start to blend and burnish using softer Prismacolor pencils. I have light peach, I have beige sienna, I also love to use great lavender for some shading and blending great lavender into the skin tone helps me to make skin less pinkish. I don't like when um, skin, fair skin has too much of pink, I need to make it more peach color, so that's why I love to add to the shadows a little bit of great lavender. And also on the last steps, usually I use my luminance. I have here pink white. It's really very nice, works as a blender. On the papers with more tools, it's also possible to use my skin tone pencils from Kohinoor Polycolor, but definitely not on this paper. I am afraid that with their harder core they will damage the surface of the paper, so even if they have very nice colors and they can be really very helpful because they have more pink, more peach colors and colors are really good, but they are quite demanding to the tooth of the paper, so not this time. I think that I will start by from applying a light layer of polychromos light flesh first and as usual I start from arms, hands, from the neck and face I color usually last when I already discovered when I tested my color palette when I 
tested the stencils on this paper, so I usually prefer to start from something less significant. It helps to create a base. And as it's, it's oil-based pencil, my paper isn't burnished yet with wax pigment, so I can apply another colors now. I can use Beige Sienna, it's Prisma color. I want to add shadows between fingers, shadow from the leaf. Now I will return to very light color to Prisma color light peach. I forgot this area near the sleeve for the nails we can use slightly more pinkish color well I can test one of Kohinoor's but I'm not sure that they will work no I don't think so Very light, very pleasant color, but not easy to use on this paper. I discovered how helpful they can be when I did pictures in Grasse's Salvo book about Emma, but there, of course, paper is wonderful with perfect tools for such paper in pencils. Here you can use them, but just for the first layer. make a little bit of undertone. It's polychromous light flash, which I use with slightly more pressure. Let's indicate shadow from the sunflower behind it.
I need shadow beneath her chin and where her hair fall, uh, falling on her shoulders. And also use the deco pitch for blending. I'm not sure that you can see anything. When I do this very light shading, I don't want to do heavy, very strong shadows because I know that on this paper it will look more like dirty skin. But when I do very light shading, it's usually not visible on camera and video. Well, and maybe now I will. I can start to color her face, but first I want to grab maybe some light yellow color. I want to add sunshine highlights, some sunshine reflections on her skin, so to make it a little bit more warm. <laughs> 